Today we are going to learn about keyframing. The major use of keyframing is to animate something. Keyframing can be used in any kind of animation. Suppose this is an object. Now you want it to move. Suppose you want that this object should be here first, and then it should move to here. Then you have to make two keyframes. Add the first keyframe at, suppose one second, and then add another keyframe at two second. Now come to the first keyframe and place the object at starting point. Now go to second keyframe and move the object to the end point. Now if you hit the play button, then you will see the animation. The object moves from first point to second point as you position it at keyframes. So this is how keyframe works. Now let's demonstrate this in a light motion. So let's jump into a light motion. So this is our object now. I want to move this object to this side in one second. So I have to go and move and transform tool. And I have to make keyframes at 0.0, .0 and 1.0 by clicking this button. Now I have to drag the object at the second keyframe. Now you can see that the object is moving from the starting point to the end point. You can also move this keyframes by just long pressing and dragging the keyframe. You can do this, Sam, to show a color-changing animation on your object. You can also make a appearing effect by adding keyframes and opacity tool. You can also make object rotating by keyframing. You can also make scaling animation by using keyframes.
so you can animate anything. And as you want by using keyframes in a light motion.